What's going on YouTube? Snap Show with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys this top five primary video. Guys, this is post-2017 weapon balance patch with the classes and everything man i just got done with my first game and i'm telling you guys i'm so freaking excited to share this information with you guys i had a lot of fun a lot of primary kills granted the grenade kills were annoying i know grenades are so overpowered they will do something about that hopefully later on but they're on the right way to destiny 2 baby and i'm telling you this will help you guys out so before we get into this video you guys, we're doing a small giveaway. The small giveaway is Control Freak Grips. What it is, is for PS4 or Xbox One, the winner can choose. What it allows you to do is have a better grip on your controller. Trust me, ask any competitive gamer. Having a good grip on your controller is very important. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below how this patch is going for you. That's all you have to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We will check if you like the video and if you have subscribed, it's very important. Also, Let's set this goal, 1,000 likes. You guys smashed the last one, man. I love you guys for all the support. But let's get into this video, man. I have so many good things to talk to you guys about. These weapons you guys have because I don't even farm. We don't even farm on Xbox anymore. What we do on Xbox One and PS4 is mostly trials, but we farm on PS4 more because we have always been Xbox boys. So as you guys know, please, you guys have to have these weapons. And if you don't, they're very easy to get. Let's start off with hand cannons because hand cannons have not gone away. They've actually gotten a little bit better. Initial target acquisition is now better with hand cannons. And I'm telling you, it's crispy because the thorn is back, baby. This weapon right here, I don't even have the new one, but this weapon right here is so freaking crispy. I'm killing people so fast and it's so nice to see that poison ticker just eat their freaking health away. Use this weapon, guys. Bring it back. Keep in mind. Have good aim with this weapon. If you do not have good aim, if you have trouble with the stability, it's going to be difficult. I would then choose a different hand cannon, which I'll talk to you guys about. These three right here, I'm telling you guys, though, if you want to go back to year one, a little bit, a little glimpse of it. Thorn is one of the best hand cannons. It's the fastest kill time out of all the hand cannons. The only other hand cannon that would do better, in my opinion, would be the last word. However, the range drop off on hand cannons now makes the last word not very good to use, but... Also, keep in mind, if you're having trouble getting special, because as you guys know, when you die, you lose special. The last word is a great weapon for those people that are, I don't know, you're faced with other people that have shotguns and they bum rush you. The last word is a great weapon to use for that. So, as you guys know, Thorn is great. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of how I set up my Thorn. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. It's standard, guys. You guys can't get any random rolls on it, as you guys know. Pal, Lin, Drome, and Eyes Luna. These two weapons are the same man they have not if anything they've gotten better i love the luna i love the pally check these weapons out you want to make sure you have rifled barrel my luna on here does not have rifled barrel but my pally does so you can make sure you have rifled barrel and then your other perks really don't matter but here having sure shot is very nice but now with the initial target acquisition buff and i've been hearing that there's a lot less ghost bullets with hand cannons both of these weapons are great and you can get the vendor roll one which is a fantastic weapon to go get make sure you guys go grab that the hawk moon man i'm telling you guys this weapon because you can just proc those luck in the chamber bullets and just two tap people this weapon is a great weapon to use it's in the same tier as the pally and the luna in case of impact actually has a little bit more impact now that i see it it doesn't really make that big of a difference. You'll still one headshot, two body shot people, or if you look in the chamber proc, you can two shot them if you hit one of those in the head. Now, let's get into pulse rifles because pulse rifles have actually gotten a little bit better. Thank God, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, fuck you, Clever Dragon, you piece of shit, and Grass and Malik. Both of those are gone. High caliber on pulses is a lot less now. Oh, by the way, they did fix high caliber on like scouts and hand cannons as well. I would say the only scout I would really use would be like the Talalok on the freaking Warlock because that's OP if you have your super. Or if you had the Mita Multi Tool, that's a great, great scout rifle to use as well. But once again, pulse rifles and hand cannons seem to be the powerful weapons right now for primaries i'll make a separate video about the secondaries later but the hawksaw is back so is the pdx because they're both in the same class and honestly in my opinion i think the best weapon to use right now is the blind perdition in terms of pulse rifles a lot of people like the hawksaw and i'm saying hey go for it it looks nice it's seahawks colors you know what it is and then you have the freaking blind perdition the reason why i like the blind perdition is because the perks it comes with are they're they're steady. You know, you'll get them from, get them from Trials of Osiris. If you guys want your Trials of Osiris run, by the way, just a quick plug. Make sure you read the description below in full detail, and you guys can actually come to our live stream and then 
earn your freaking way to the lighthouse. Trust me, it's amazing. We help every single weekend. Just read everything in the description below. It's all there, all right? And connect with us on Twitter at RealTKO Gaming for more information. Anyway, so I would use the blind perdition when it comes to pulse rifles, but any of these are viable. I actually was testing out the Nerwin's Mercy and Hopscotch Pilgrim, and I'm not lying, these weapons are pretty good. They also drop with pretty good perks. They shoot a little bit faster now, but still, in my opinion, I think that these three pulses, when it comes to the Suros PDX, the Hawksaw, and the Blind Perdition, I think will be better. Make sure you get the Adept version as well. Last thing I want to say, guys, the Universal Remote, it was actually not impacted as badly as the other shotguns. As you guys know, shotguns did get nerfed, but Universal Remote, if you have the right class, what I mean by that is like the character and the subclass, what it might require is a pretty ranged melee. I would say Universal Remote is very good, very, very good on an Arc Warlock, a Stormcaller. I'm telling you, that would be a great weapon of choice. Plus, it's a shotgun, and not a lot of people will have a shotgun. Granted, your primary game will dwindle. However, and I'll make this in a future video for the best top five or the best sidearms or secondary weapon to use, but having a universal remote and a really good sidearm seems to be an amazing, amazing, amazing setup. You heard it here first, by the way, guys. You heard it here first. I love you guys so much. You guys know they did so much, and there's so many more videos to make. If you guys like Destiny, if you want Destiny 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 77, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more coming up. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at RealTKOGaming, and our Twitch stream is twitch.tv slash RealTKOGaming. Once again, man, I can't stress it enough. We're almost at 50K. We're about to make some kick-ass videos. I love you guys. That's my gamer tag on Xbox, by the way. The gamer tag on PlayStation is real TKO Gaming, no spaces. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.